Now, if you have trouble with addictions, and this could be to the internet, social media, food, drugs, video games, internet, corn, um, masturbation, things like that, then you may have an imbalance in your soul at the realm of Yasad, also known as the sacral chakra in Indian mythology. And in this video, we're going to talk about how Yasad or the sacral chakra affects your body, mind and soul and talk about some ways that we might rebalance it so we can continue to ascend to our highest potential physically and spiritually and mentally. So let's get right into it. Now, Yasad is known as the realm of creation, and you might be wondering to yourself, okay, what is this weird schematic you're looking at here? Well, on the left, this is known as the tree of life. So just like the seven chakras, which just about every person is familiar with, the tree of life is a schematic which describes uh, the layout of a human soul and the different levels of, of consciousness or spirit that dwell within it. However, these different levels can become imbalanced and we can dwell spiritually, mentally, and physically at any one of these spheres at any point in time. It can be for a moment, it can be for long term, chronically, for weeks and months. Um, if you have problems with addictions or lust to things, then Yasad is where you may be at. The sacral chakra is what you might have in balance. And specifically, when we talk about the tree of life, it is derived from something called the flower of life. Now, all of these things go so deep, all of these schematics, I'm really just touching the surface here, but the flower of life is the uh, tesseract. If you look very closely at it, you can see it's, it's, um, it's three-dimensional whilst also being two-dimensional. It has a cube within a cube within another cube um, and and a tesseract this is just an image so it's very difficult but if I had an actual physical tesseract in my hand these cubes would go on infinitely you could just keep seeing more cubes within cubes now you can actually overlay the tree of life on top of the flower of life and the flower of light is thought to be how the layout of the universe it's thought to be the 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 order in which flowers plants everything alive grows in this very specific geometric mathematical pattern and also we are no different it also describes the layout of our bodies mind and soul and it's very ancient now specifically yasad um it is the realm of creation as you'll notice here Keter is God is understood as God's energy, same as the crown chakra. This is where enlightenment happens. But God's energy comes down and densifies into the physical form at Shekinah, also known as Melkuth, or the root chakra. Yasad is the last point of entry. It's almost like, um, you know, in, uh, 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 an, an intercourse of, of sorts, right? Because we all know creation in this realm begins with intercourse. So the energy of Yasad is the masculine energy of God, and it penetrates and creates our physical realm. Now, here's where you may run into problems at the realm of Yasad. Is when you're when you have idle time. You know they say idle time is the devil's playground. When you're alone, you have nothing to do. You might think to yourself, "Oh, what can I do? I should order some food. Maybe I should scroll through social media. Maybe I should play some video games. Maybe I should, you know, you know, uh, uh, watch weird videos on the internet and do other weird things." Why? Why do we do these things? Because there's a void. There's a void in our soul that we are trying to desperately fill right we need to be filled with something with the energy of yasad okay no ditty on all of this no ditty right but this is just how it is so this is where i need to talk about the tree of death okay now just like there's a tree of life there's an inverse as above so below there's an inverse called clip off the tree of death and this represents all the negative things that might fill the void when one of your uh, realms of the soul are imbalanced. 
and you can see the tree of death is a very nasty looking thing it just looks evil you know Now, Yasad has an archangel. And whether you believe in angels and demons as true ethereal entities, at least they are archetypes which we can use to understand ourselves. The, the tree of death analog to Yasad is called Gamaliel. And the arch demon that resides over Gamaliel is Lilith. Now, you may have heard of Lilith before. Maybe you watch anime, you watch Evangelion. They talk about the story of Lilith quite a bit in that anime. But Lilith is, was, the story goes is that she was uh, Adam's ex-husband, ex-wife, and she was another defector. And eventually she made a pact and became an arch demon. She was the first succubus, right? She's, she's the queen of lust. And there are all sorts of stories that have analogs to Lilith. There's Medusa from the Greek mythology, right? Beautiful women, but look her in the eyes, you will turn to stone. There are the sirens, once again, of Greek mythology. Beautiful women on the beach, they're singing beautiful songs. You draw too close, you will crash and sink your boat. The succubus, it is the, the manifestation of lust in the evil sense. And this is what may happen when you're alone, right? And you have nothing to fill that void is Lilith or the succubus or the sirens will speak to you and say, hey, come over here and, you know, order, you know, order, order that extra large pizza, even though you're on a diet, it'll make you feel better, right? But the problem is you'll get the fulfillment on the front end, but on the back end, <laughs> you will damage your heart. You will gain weight. On the back end, you will do shameful things. And in that sense, it's a deal with the devil. It's a deal with the archdemon Lilith. Right? And we talked about internet addiction being a form of Lilith having her hands on you. Food and drugs right drugs are just as bad it's another attempt you feel the void you just want to feel fulfilled you want to feel the love you want to feel like everything's going to be okay that's the sort of feeling you get when you are tied to a significant other right that energy of creation the masculine feminine become one and create something new that can be fulfilled by lilith and she'll give you her heroin and fentanyl and all these new you know nowadays hey our kids are doing all sorts of drugs now the realm of Gamaliel, Gamaliel are all the demons, the, the you know, henchmen that work under Lilith and they are known as the obscene. So you'll notice someone who's, whose realm of Yasad in their soul is very imbalanced or their sacral chakra is very imbalanced is they may be obscene people. Portrayal or description of offensive or disgusting sexual things. So they may dress very suggestively they may always be talking about nasty things their mind is always on obscenity they may have an imbalance in yasad or the sacral now some manifestations some problems that are believed to arise physical and mental problems that may arise when this realm is imbalanced or when lilith or has or has been converted into gamaliel and been completely corrupted and usurped by Lilith and Gamaliel is you may have problems with gonads you may find that you're, you just have overpowering desires um, you may have problems with kidneys urinary tract testes um, you may a, 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 a subtract you may what's the word I'm looking for you may you may f gain STDs Right, because what's happening if you're doing a lot of red light district activities because you're very lustful is inevitably, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you catch an STD. Urinary tract infections. And another very, very great hallmark of, of imbalance in the sacral or imbalance in the asad is mood swings. Your emotions are unstable. You're sad one moment, you're angry the next moment. So what do I do, man? What? I don't know what to do. What do I do? Oh my God. 
<laughs> one thing you can do is listen get off the internet I've I've had struggle with this as well no one has not struggled with Lilith no one has ever not been tempted by Lilith in some shape or form but one thing we know is if you're scrolling through the internet YouTube reels or whatever you're gonna keep seeing people check out this new burger at egg slut oh look at this juicy delicious burger don't you want one right and you're gonna want to eat food you're gonna see ladies twerking you see all sorts of weird crap that's gonna tempt you so you know this is an example of if you know where the enemy is don't go there where's a place where we see a lot of obscenity the club right what are you doing at the club what is even the point i don't even see the point of going to the club what are you gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get nothing good really comes out of the club people are drinking spirits and becoming letting their their faculties and minds become possessed you don't even remember what happened to you people are like half naked doing drugs that's what happens at the club it's a place of the night it's a place where gamliel and lilith and her servants are are in abundance but just like there's an archangel for Gamliel, the, the inverse of Yassad, Yassad has an archangel. And we all know the archangel of Yassad. It's the archangel Gabriel. Gabriel. How many people have you met named Gabriel? They're named after this archangel of Yassad. And then the, the lower angels, the, the soldiers for Gabriel, are called the cherubim, also known as heaven's choir, the angelic choir. So this, what this points to is, yeah, this is, Yassad is the realm of creation. It's all creative energy. So what are things you can do with this creative energy? Often the cherubim are depicted as, as um, babies, right? That energy can be used to create life. You can create art. And by the way, these are not biblically actor, act. Ac accurate angels at all all biblically accurate angels are terrifying looking things but we won't get into that you know create some art right read a book gain information that can go into your craft which is more creation what do you want to manifest and create in this world spend some time putting that into into action um literally with that creative energy that lust the product can be a family, children, you know, people, conscious, literally brand new consciousness can enter this world through that energy, through that realm. It's very real. Like I said, practice your craft. And uh, so you can bring that thing that you want to bring to this earth. And we have great examples of people who were completely celibate, actually. Nikola Tesla never once had sex. Or so he says, right? So he retained his creative energy. He was never doing any dumb things. He was basically 24-7 seven, seven doing math, working on new inventions. And what did he bring to the world? Our electrical grid, generators, things, cornerstones of any civilized nation. Also another celibate man. Albert Einstein, and do I even need to begin with this man? The theories of relativity, <laughs> all of modern physics. Thank you, Einstein. Thank you for not, you know, going to the red light district or, you know, ordering DoorDash too much. And listen, I have a problem with DoorDash. I order DoorDash all the time. All right, I try to make excuses. I'm, I'm not any better than you, but I'm saying... You, these are examples of how far you can go. Now, here are some other things that are proposed under the guidelines of, of the yogic traditions for the seven chakras is um, yoga positions that in, include the hips because that's where the sacral chakra, yazad, correlates in the body is the hips. So here's one position, and you can always look up more. Um, when doing a general meditation, there's the chant. We all know the chant, Om, right? That is associated with the root chakra, which we talked about in the last video. But for the sacral chakra, or yasad, we have Vam. And it has a correlating hertz or frequency that will literally emit 
and vibrate throughout your body. And this can have effects on your mentality or maybe even go as far as to heal you. This is not medical advice on a physical level. Some uh, rosemary and fennel are also herbs that may help balance the sacral chakra or yasad. And we know these are actually diuretics. So fennel is used to treat uh, urinary tract infections and things like that. Very interesting. And it makes you urinate more, which helps you clear out bacteria and things from your urinary tract that may cause problems. And of course, at the end of the day, you can't defeat the forces of evil by yourself. You think, look, you think you're about to, you're about to, you're about to go face to face with the arch demon <laughs> Lilith and win? No, no. In all the stories in the Bible and these sacred texts, no man has ever defeated an arch demon on this themselves. They're always an angel came to help them. All these wars that were fought, you can think of, I think his name was Ezekiel or, or Joshua. Um, he was a king and he had to fight a great war and he, 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 he was up against um, a, a great foe and who came to help him were the angels, right? So we need to remember that we have to pray to God in our moments of weakness. If all else fails, we need to pray to God because God is all powerful and God can help you no matter what. So this has been Yasad, also the Sacral Chakra, in our Spiritual Ascension series. Check in for the next episode as we talk about the next realm of the soul, of consciousness, of reality, if you will. And this is uh, Had and Niza. So we're not going to go straight to Tiferet. We're going to go to Had and Niza, which are very interesting you'll to please tune in for that one and check out some of my other videos you know i talk about other ways that can things that can disrupt our body mind and soul like water for example something we have to drink all day every day can be filled with contaminants that can affect you spiritually physically and mentally so check out my video i got a whole playlist on water um i highly recommend and uh i'll see you in the next one take care